kids, it's Miss Murphy, and today we are back to talk some more about our story, Hey Little Ant. In today's lesson, we're going to be doing two things. First, we're going to talk about the power words to help us understand the story better. And second, you're going to learn how to figure out what's most important in the story. That is especially important in this story, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Because first, it's time for the power words. Let's get to it. Our first word is care. Say it with me, care. If you care about something, you worry about what happens to it. For example, this boy cares about his pet bunny, so he takes her to the veterinarian to make sure that she's healthy. Our next word is decide. Say it with me, decide. When you decide, you make a choice about something. This girl needs to decide which fruit she wants to eat for a snack. Our last word is real. Say it with me, real. If something is real, it is not fake or made up. This boy can't believe he saw a real spider in its web. All right, now that we talked about the power words, it's time to dive into our story. Remember, this story is a persuasive text. That's because the boy wants to squish the ant. The ant is trying to persuade or give reasons as to why the boy should keep him alive. Now to really understand this story and to get some deeper meaning from it, you need to be a close reader. That means you need to pay attention to what is most important in the story. Sometimes the author includes details that are not so important and other times he includes really, really important details. So as we're reading today, I want you to grab a book buddy. Whenever I ask a question, you may pause the video, see if you can figure it out yourself, and then press play to keep on listening. All right, let's look for those important details. Ant down in the crack. Can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe? Can you see that? Well, now it's going to squish you flat. Let's stop and think. What is the most important detail on this page? You're right. The boy is going to squish the ant. Please, oh please, do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh please, don't make me die. Anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny, you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small. I don't think it'll hurt at all. Why does the boy think that it won't hurt if he squishes the ant? You're right, he thinks ants can't feel and that it won't hurt because they're so small. But, but you're a giant and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close. I think you'll see that you are very much like me. So why is the ant trying to tell the boy that they're alike? The ant thinks that if the boy sees that they're alike, he'll decide not to squish him. Are you crazy? Me like you? I have a home and a family too. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Oh, big friend, you're so wrong. My nest mates need me because I am strong. I dig our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. So how are the boy and the ant alike? What did the ant tell him? You're right, the ant tells him they both have homes and they both have families. But my mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Hey, I'm not a crook kid. Read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town. So please, don't make your shoe come down. What do you think the most important detail on this page is? The most important detail is that ants steal food to feed their towns. But all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me, they're listening too. 
They all say, I should squish you. So why do the boy's friends think he should squish the ant? They think squishing ants is a game, and they do it all the time. I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? Why does the ant say, if you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? I think he wants the boy to realize that if he was the small one, he wouldn't want to be squished. Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. What do you think that kid should do? The ending of this story is so interesting. We never actually find out what happens to the ant. Does the boy squish him? Does the ant change his mind? Why do you think the author decided to do that? I think the author wanted the reader, that's us, to make our own decision for what happened. If you like this story, don't forget to like and subscribe.